viewers to another episode on ASU G12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the August 2022 Science Paper 2, which is basically the standard O-level chemistry. In the previous episode, we covered question e, B6. So now let us continue with question e, B7. The following reaction scheme shows what occurs during the extraction of zinc metal from one of its holes. Zinc blend. Zinc blend losted in here, then we have solid air, then plus a sulfur dioxide, which burn in coke to give us zinc and a gas M. Deduce the chemical formula of zinc blend. So basically what happens is a zinc blend is heated strongly or losted in hair to convert it to a zinc oxide. So when we are talking about zinc blend, zinc blend contains um, zinc sulfide. So zinc sulfide, that's what is basically zinc blend or contains. So basically when we lost or burn or eat strongly zinc blend or zinc sulfide in the presence of hair, we are going to basically get this equation. So zinc sulfide plus basically oxygen because we are burning it in oxygen we are going to end up with uh, basically zinc oxide plus basically sulfur dioxide. So sulfur dioxide is basically a gas, then a zinc oxide is basically a solid, then a oxygen of course is a gas, then we have zinc sulfide which is solid. So this zinc sulfide is what is known as a zinc blend. So basically, this is the first part which is happening. Then, during the extraction, what happens is this what we obtain as zinc oxide is again further uh, heated strongly to give us uh, basically uh, an equation. So the heating process takes place in the furnace. So we have equation 2 which is zinc oxide which is basically a solid which is this one. Then is again further heated in cork. Now this cork we are talking about is basically the carbon. So you eat it in cork which is carbon solid. You are going to end up with zinc. Now this zinc will be in vapor. So we shall call it gas then plus carbon monoxide which is gas. Then this vapor is then could so it cools and condenses once it condenses we remove this one as molten zinc so this is the process that happens in the extraction of zinc so let us go to the questions deduce the chemical formula of zinc blend so zinc blend like we've talked about in this case is zinc sulfide so basically it is just zinc then uh, sulfide. Remember sulfur as uh, basically a valence of 2 and zinc as also a valence of 2 hence we are having this formula. Remember the valence is just basically the number of electrons that an element requires to either to give away or gain to have a complete outer shell. Then question B name solid L and gas M. So because we've done the equation already, it's easier to know what this solid is and what this gas is. So this solid is basically, we are getting this from the first equation, which is we are burning a zinc blend, which is zinc sulfide in oxygen to give us this solid and sulfur dioxide. So basically what you notice in this case, this is zinc oxide. So we have zinc oxide as in L. Then and what is M? M is so you see the second equation where now 
we burn this zinc oxide in coke which is carbon to give us zinc itself and the gas m so gas m is basically this gas remember we have zinc here then this is carbon monoxide so m is carbon monoxide then c construct the chemical equation for the reaction of solid l with coke so it, so solid l is zinc oxide we've already done this equation it's just a matter of balancing it so you see basically this one we react with this one so you can balance this one this side we have one carbon one carbon collect we have one zinc one zinc then our oxygen we have one on. so this equation is basically balanced so just come and write here if you want this equation but we've already done the other side so, so solid then plus in a carbon then we have zinc gas then plus in carbon monoxide which is in gas then dim sulfur dioxide gas is a pollutant explain its effect on plants so basically a sulfur dioxide would basically dissolve in rain to form uh, acid rains which is a uh, sulfurous acid then this uh, sulfurous acid would basically lead uh, to poor growth in plants remember plants do not grow well in acidic environment they need a uh, potassium and uh, basically nitrogen to grow well so basically a sulfur dioxide dissolves in rain water to form sulfurous acid which affect the growth of the plants that's basically the effect so it basically leads uh, to poor growth in plants because it tends the environment in which the, those plants are growing to be acidic so basically this is how you answer this question to get uh, the 60 max so remember your success depends on your extensive revision go through as much past papers as possible it's recommended that you revise the last five years once you do that a distinction is guaranteed our goal is to ensure that you ace your exams